Hello my beautiful bitters, welcome to my channel and today I have my very late empties video for you. This is for the month of November and part into December because um, it's what, I don't know, the 12th? <laughs> I should have had this video up at least a week ago. <coughs> Still dealing with my damn cold. Um, I coughed so hard I gave myself a migraine. I like snapped a muscle like in here. So I've been dealing with headaches and migraines for two and a half weeks straight. It is not a fun deal. But with that, I want to show you guys my new mug. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I got this from World Market. And if you guys know, I love the phrase rolling with my homies. This dates back to the movie Clueless with Brittany Mo Murphy. She's like, rolling with my homies and then she's like Roll, rolling with my homies and crying through it anyway it's classic and so when so last year when i went to the world market i found rolling with my gnomies and it has super cute little gnomes on it this has been my favorite mug for a whole year and then this year i saw that they put out a new style and I'm like, I have to have it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. So, and then somebody, I still don't know who, if you check on my Instagram, somebody sent me two nail polishes. Um, it could be two separate people because they came in two separate orders like a week from each other. And so one was uh, I Love Nail Polish Holographic one and then one was a KB shimmer one and this one's called rolling with my chromies it is what is on my nails right now it's very chipped and all that stuff just because I've been cleaning <laughs> and I've had these on my nails for a while I mean you could probably date back my video um, I took a photo of my nails so I've worn it since then so at least several days so anyway I have just a splash of eggnog in here for flavoring so good anyway and if there's any like weird noises my coffee pot just finished brewing its coffee and it likes to do last minute sputters and splats and noises right now it's just silently hissing <laughs> I don't know so let's get into my empties I have got a lot and I mean a lot of makeup items okay so for one when I did my declutter I realized that I had emptied out a lot of makeup items but then didn't pull it out and put it in my empties um, and I don't know why I think I think I do know why I think most of them were in my purse and when I decluttered stuff out of my purse it just went back into my regular area and I forgot to even look at them to see if they were empty or not. Because with multiple sclerosis, I have memory issues, as you well know. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so let's get into this. Let's go into... I don't... I want to save the makeup for last. Oh, I was looking for this. This went missing. It was put in here. Um, okay, so now I can actually film my update for my... Uh, this is me project pan. <laughs> I haven't been able to film that because I couldn't find my my folder. Darn it. Okay, so let's do vitamins, that type of stuff. So I have an allergy one. Um, I think we emptied this out a long time ago, but my son has been refilling the, um, the Costco brand of Zyrtec. It's like three, four bucks for a year supply of the stuff. So go to Costco to get your um, allergy beds. Anyway, so this one has been used. I take an allergy pill every single day um, as, and I get allergy shots. So because I take my allergy pill, it helps reduce the reaction to my allergy shots. So, because if I don't take one, um, I get a big welt on the back of my arms because I get two shots and then it spreads and then it just for weeks. If I take this, it doesn't swell up very much and it only itches for a couple days. So, this has been used up. I also used up a thing of lysine. Um, my daughter and I both get cold sores, so we've been trying to take lysine every single day. And then when we do get a cold sore, we triple up on it. We do three a day. So... 
that's helped. I've only had one cold sore this past year by doing that. And then I finished up with apple cider vinegar because I have an autoimmune disease. I do not have the white blood cells. I do not have the lymphocytes to help combat illnesses. Hence why I'm still sick today. I still don't even have a full voice. It's like, and then this ear is like clogged up. So I think I'm on the verge of an ear infection. So I'm actually using up the ear, using the eardrops in my ear that my son used when he had his ear infection. So hopefully that'll work. Um, but yeah, apple cider vinegar was used up. I need to buy more. Okay, let's go with hair products. I normally, I don't run out of conditioner faster than I do shampoo. But since my hair is halfway down my butt, like four inches into my butt crack, no joke. Even when I braid it, my hair goes down to my belly button when I braid it. So when it's unbraided, <laughs> can you imagine? Hmm, I need to cut my hair. Can you guys give me suggestions on hair cuts? I don't wanna go short. I don't want to go super short. Um, I think middle of my back where my bra strap lies, I think would be a good length. But if you think of any suggestions for hair, uh, tag me on Instagram. I would love to you <laughs> to try some. So this is a conditioner that I had to pull out because I ran out of conditioner. This is a Manuka Honey All Natural. It's a PHAI 5.5. I don't know what that means. It's a conditioner. It is cruelty free, all that stuff. But I used this up. I didn't really like it. I It was sent to me for review and I used it, didn't really like it, gave it to my daughter. She used it a little bit and it worked well in her hair, but then she had a major hormonal stage and now it doesn't work in her hair. So I just needed to use something just to slick my hair so I can at least brush it. I used up a simple micellar water because I washed my face. I like to use this to remove my eye makeup and then I actually use a real cleanser on my face to remove everything else. But I don't wear foundation very often. It's very seldom that I wear foundation. Today I've been cleaning, so I just decided since I'm doing a video to just braid my hair and put on some mascara and call it good. I could have put on some gloss, but I spaced that. I couldn't even remember to put on chapstick. But anyway, I just figured, you know, if if there, if there, I had to get rid of everything and only keep one makeup item, it would just be mascara. I'd be perfectly happy with that just because mascara makes a big difference, especially when you have hooded eyes. Um, it, it just it just brightens everything up. It just makes a it just makes a big difference. So anyway, I used up one of these. I have another full one that I'm working through right now, but this one's done. Okay, so used up a hand soap by Bath and Body Works. This one was twisted peppermint, and this one dried out my hands so 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 bad. Now I compared it with the one that I have in my bathroom right now, and that one doesn't dry out my hands. So I was having to use this hand scrub every single time I wash my hands just to combat the dryness from this. And the ingredients are pretty much the same. The only difference is there's a couple red dyes in here. There's red 33 and violet 2. So I don't know if it's the red 33 or the violet 2 that I'm allergic to. So I'm going to write this down so that way if something else comes through that dries out my hands really bad, then I would know just not to buy those hand soaps because normally I love them. My husband loves this. Um, he didn't like the twisted peppermint. He said it smelled like medic medicine. He hated the scent of it. But he has, he works, he's a jack of all trades. He could literally do anything and everything. He installed our carpeting in our home. He fixes everything. He's just a very, very handy man and extremely smart in that. So he's been literally rebuilding my daughter's engine because now that she's driving, he wanted to make sure that her 2001 Dodge Neon was tip top shape. So he literally was rebuilding her engine and putting in a bunch of new parts and, and all that stuff because he wanted to make sure that he she had a safe car to drive. Now, he would come in and have oil and grease and all sorts of stuff on his hands. He'd come in and he'd use the dish soap and the dish soap would not take care of it. Even straight from the bottle, 
super concentrated, would not work. But then he would go into our bathroom, use this foaming soap, and it would take care of everything that's on his hands. He's like, how is that? So now he just doesn't even bother with the dish soap and he just goes into the bathroom and uses up the Bath and Body Works ones. So every time there's a sale, I stock up because my husband really likes them. He's like, they work so well. Except I just have to be careful because my hands dry out from them. So that's not fun. Okay, so since I talked about this, let's talk about the two Zany Laney products that I have used up this last month. This one is called Stay in the Car, and I think this one was based off of the TV show Chuck. So this one was Hazelnuts, Banana, and Froyo scent. It is so good. It is a sugar-based hand scrub, and I know that there isn't any phthalates and stuff like that because phthalates cause cancer. So I really love using Zany Laney body scrubs. Right now, um, now, if you guys order and use my code, I do not get anything from it. It's just a nice gesture for my viewers. So if you use the code ZELMA10, all one word, on Zany Laney's website, you save 10% off. Now, these, I think, are on sale right now. They are normally $8, but next year she has to bump up the price to $10 because the place that she buys her supplies bumped up the price, so she has to... Uh, weigh out her options and she decided to bump up the price of the scrubs to ten dollars but i guarantee it is so worth it it's worth it anyway so this i used up i you you'll you will always find zany laney empties in my um empties just because i love the product so much this one is all out and i need to order a new one <laughs> So this one is about to begin. This is like my second favorite of all time scent that Lainey has done. This one was based off of Mary Poppins. So the scent notes is cotton candy, lemon drops, and sugar, and I, oh, it's all gone. Come on, at least one spray. One. Oh. This one's so good with that lemon and then the sugary s smell in there. It just smells so, so, so yummy. And I love it. And I get so many compliments when I wear this. And I use these body sprays as a hairspray for sure. Um, I was just in the kitchen taking care of something that had went icky in the fridge or whatever. And it had mold and the mold was making me gag and then would put me into a coughing fit because I'm still sick. So I went in and used the Zany Laney spray called Vicious Trollop. There we go. It's Earl Grey, Grey tea and lemon and that one neutralizes stank like nobody's business. So I sprayed the whole room with that and then I was able to continue cleaning that moldy piece of work anyway without gagging and then sending myself in coughing fits so yes this is all done I need to order a new one and I don't know if this one's on the chopping block and not going to come back at all or not I, I don't know so let's continue with Zany Laney I have a little thing of wax that I used up this one's called Dapple Apple. This one's so yummy for the fall. This one, I don't know if I can read it. Apple candy, donut batter, and cinnamon. Donut. It's so tiny I can't read it. Donut, yeah, donut batter. Apple candy, donut batter, and cinnamon. This one, so yummy for the fall. Oh my gosh. It just, it, it smells like an apple fritter. Just straight up an apple fritter when it's warming oh yum used up that so i've been trying to use up my scentsy products and i finally used up another one this one's called snowberry and this one was one that i was mixing with some other scents to try to get them used up so i finished up this one now you will not see any more scentsy products um, unless i use the last two i have i gave my mom all of my scentsy i had three or four bricks i had a buttload of scentsy wax and I was just sick and tired of trying to use it up. So much so that all I wanted to do was use my Zany Laney wax. So I decided just to gift it all to my mom. And I kept two, which are my favorite. So if they ever come back in stock, I will buy 15 of them. No joke. But it's in the scent Blessings. And I do not, it's like 
amber and you know nutmeg and cinnamon it's just so homey and yummy and just amazing so i kept two and gave everything else away so you will probably no longer see Scentsy come through unless I use up those two that I saved aside, which I probably will just use them up. Um, I have two warmers. There's three warmers going on in our home. My daughter has a warmer in her bedroom. I have a warmer in my bedroom, and then I have a warmer out here in the main space. So you'll be seeing wax come through, but just not any of anything that comes from MLM companies. So with that, let's go with lotions i finished up a cure all ultra therapy wet skin moisturizer you use this in the shower normally i'll take a shower get out and then lotion up my whole body but when i am at the gym i don't bring separate lotion so i like taking these little guys for the shower so i'll shower at the gym and then put this on my body and then towel dry off is Mayfair body cream soft foundation this is in sea lily jasmine I love this thing I actually put I bought a bunch of these and then I put some in a giveaway years ago and so now I'm using up the last of what I have and so this guy has been in my purse and I mean I squeezed everything out to where I just used it up I love it um Okay, so other body product is this aloe vera. This is Estre Bell Aloe Vera Moisturizing Gel. This one got used up. And then, oh, here's a sunscreen. So we have Hawaiian Tropic Sunscreen SPF 30. This one was used up. I don't remember. I try to use sunscreen a lot just because of with my MS medications you are more susceptible to burns and um, skin cancer. So I always try to use some sort of sunscreen when I'm out and about. So Hungarian water essence. I think this is like um, a moisturizer, one of those like aqua bomb type moisturizers. So I used up that. And then I have three hair care products. I'm trying to use up all my minis. So now I just am using the Not Your Mother's Hair um, dry shampoo. So this is the ACV by DP Hue um, one, and it is, this is one that was so weird because it sputtered, and because it sputtered, it left like circles of patches, or patches on my wall or on my sink or on the floor of powder. So I had to use this up and then go around and wash everything up because it just sputtered and spit everywhere and it was not concentrated to my hair. So I've used this product, uh, I used the apple cider vinegar rinse before, but I don't think I will repurchase this. If I get another one some way, I canceled all my boxes. So um, if I get this, I don't know, as a free gift with purchase something like that I will use it but I will not actively go out and try to purchase it this one I do like this is the dove and so this is a dry shampoo I would purchase repurchase the dove one I do like the dove and the not your mother's uh, dry shampoos this is the Oribe dry texturizing spray I didn't really like this one this one I, I love my hair feeling soft so when I use a dry shampoo, I don't expect it to give a texture. So I used the Not Your Mother's and my hair is still really smooth. Um, there was a little thing that I posted on Facebook about um, chronic illnesses and it gave like percentages of, you know, how to deal with a chronic illness. It's like 20% sarcasm, 5% you know, this 40% medication and like 300% dry shampoo. I'm like, this is so true. <laughs> so anyway, used up that. So let's go into this thing. I have one, two, three, four. I have four um, bath bombs that I used up. So all of these little baggies came from a friend she makes them all so i had a tea tree bath bomb rosemary mint bath bomb rosemary eucalyptus bath bomb this one i don't remember what it was i think this was a birthday cake bath bomb anyway used up four of these i actually increased my baths this month so before i was only taking like one to two baths a month so 
I used to do one to two baths a week. So um, let's do some skincare. I have this Derma E charcoal mask that I used up. It was all right. I had this feel restored self-warming clay mask. I did not feel the self-warming at all. It, I, I didn't like it, so I would not repurchase that. Um, this, oh, this was a paper of an, the little stickers that you use to do French manicures. So I used that up. I don't know why I put that in there. I used up this So AE Collagen Lip Patch. I used these holographic foil eye patches. I think they had stars on them. They went under the eye. I didn't see anything. I have sunken in eyes. I don't have them they're not puffy, but they are dark. Okay, so my last two actual mask masks I used, I used a Laneige, you know, the water bank soothing gel mask. I really liked this. And then I had a Tatcha one, which is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mask, and I liked this one as well. But, you know, Tatcha is really expensive, so I don't actively look that one up. But it is really nice, and I do like it a lot. I have a Dior one minute mask. Um, I did not feel any difference from when I use this to when I use a Laneige product. So I say save your coin, buy Laneige, skip the Dior. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, I have a Lancome um, cream. This, I, I had figured out the price prior to me even using it. And this little sample of this Lancome pr is priced at $3.85. Can you believe that? This little thing. It was an eye cream, I think. Beauty Sleep Perfector Gel in... I don't remember. It's something cream. Anyway, I used it up. Almost a $4 product. Oh, there's this Kula. This is a face moisturizer, but it's also tinted. So this had SPF 30. Used that up. I would not seek it out to purchase it. Oh, this is a Pretties for Your Face lip scrub. This was in their peppermint lip scrub. I have, it comes in a set. So you have the lip scrub and then you have the, lip, the chapstick. So it's a very, very dry formula, but it smells so yummy. So when you open this, don't dump it like I did. Because I went to smell it and all the the stuff fell out. And a good thing I had a box underneath me because all of it fell in the box. So I was able to put it back in. So it is a very dry formula, but it was so good. Yummy. Okay, let's see. Oh, I have a Coda Lee um, Eye Lifting Balm. And this one was used up. Lucy. Oh, I must have used this for my Lucy project pan or whatever. Okay, here's this one, Dr. Jart BB cream. This one, it only has a little bit left, but when I tried to use it, it was super dry. So this one was actually a declutter. I'll figure out the price of how much I used of that. And then I just wanna make sure that I have everything here. I have a lot of makeup products in here. I have a little sample of a scent thing when I was creating a scent with Zany Laney. She sends out these little sample things. That got used up. Oh, there's a Sharpie in here too. Okay. Let's do nail polish because I only have... Oh, there's another pen and another Sharpie in here. Go figure. I don't need those. Oh, here's another perfume. This one is... Uh, K Alley, this one was the, um, what do you call it? The Kardashian one. There's not much left. It's just, it's used up though. And everything else is makeup. I have two little nail polish minis that I use. This one was a Ciate one in the color Paradise Lost. I have a full size of this one. And then I have a China Glaze one in the color y'all ready for this yeah so I think this was from the 90s collection or something like that anyway it was a red shade those ones got used up now we have makeup da -da -da -da. 
Yeah. Okay. So, I used up a mineral powder from Physician's Formula. Yes. I do love this. This one was the color correcting one, so it had the swirls. That was used up. I think that was used up earlier this year, and it was in my stash, and it just sat there empty. <laughs> I'm such a dope. I think I used it last spring. Then I have this Milta Beauty Mattifying Balm, and this got used up. Um, I don't know if it was really mattifying. It was kind of annoying. So let's go with mascara, I guess. I have mascara in my purse that I need to pull out, so that'll probably be in the next. Anyway, I always have mini um, mascaras in my purse just in case I run out the door and forget to put on something. I always have something. Or I'm at the gym and I shower and wash off all my makeup, then I'll put on a little bit of mascara. So anyway, I have both of these. These I've had for probably about six months. I am retiring them. This one is the L'Oreal Voluminous original I think I started using this one in June beginning of June so it's getting really clumpy now this one I just used today and I had to rake over my lashes over and over and over and over and over again because it's so clumpy so this one is getting <laughs> retired as well this is by the Thrive Cosmetics this is the liquid lash extensions this one is like a tubing mascara because you can get your eyelashes wet just a little bit and literally pull off your mascara so um, in chunks and it gets everywhere especially if I use this before I go to the gym and I start sweating I start getting flakes of black on my face it made my lashes look great halfway through it I didn't like it in the beginning and I didn't like it in the in at the end but I liked it in the middle so but I wouldn't purchase this just to like a mascara in the middle of its life you know that's that's only two three months of it being really nice so anyway this is done and then I have oh here let's do eye products because I only have three the rest are lip products I used up this Stila smoky glow um, glitter thing I used up a small thing of eyeliner and then I have a NYX Glam Liner, liner in. This is in Glam Golden. I love these NYX liners. They are my favorite liners. I love the brushes. I just love everything about them. But this one's like completely dried up. So this one's done. And then the last are lip products. I have, oh, one chapstick that I used up. This one was by our dentist. <laughs> Discovery Dental in Missoula. They're a great place. I think I I see Dr. Green or some I don't know, but anyway Great dentist. So if you're in the Missoula area and need a dentist go to Discovery Dental Okay <laughs> Not sponsored. I wish it was you know free cleanings for a year just by mentioning our business <laughs> Can you only imagine? Oh, that would be so nice. Um, for a long time I didn't have dental insurance, so now I do, so I'm taking advantage of it. I have this Bite Beauty lip one. There's a little bit of a dome there, but in the middle, but it scratches on the end. This was in the color Cashew. That one got used up. This is a Tony Moly lip, uh, and you can look all the way down into the bottom and look out the bottom, so there's nothing left in there. Um, another little sample-y thing is this Urban Decay in Amulet. And this little sample is valued at $2.20. I like when I went through and just tried to add in the values of a lot of my samples. This one I'm scraping the sides. This is Smashbox in the color Driver's Seat. It is really, really, really thick, like a super thick, moussey texture. And because it's super thick, it doesn't want to go on nicely. So this one I'm considering done. This NARS lip gloss, I think I probably used um, uh, two-thirds of it, three-fourths of it, somewhere in there. But now it's like really thick and gloopy, and so I don't want to put it on my lips and, and chance getting a zit on the edge of my lips. If things go bad, I get zits on the edge of my lips. So um, I'm pulling this one before this one even has a chance to do this. I don't know what color it is, but it's a NARS very, very pale lip gloss. I have been trying to use up this red 
lipstick forever and I finally finished it. I think I've had this in projects for like two years straight. This is in Heat Wave Ruby by Tease and this one is all used up. It got so dry that the very end of it just actually just fell out. It was just a little nub and I'm like, eh, it's done. <laughs> so that was used up finally. And then I loved this one for so, so, so long and I kept it in my purse and I was scraping the sides trying to get something out of it. It has that um, gimmicky light um, and then it has a mirror on the side, but this is pure illumination and this is pouty pink glossy gloss. I loved this to death. I've had this for years and towards the end I started getting a little bit of zits on the edges of my lips but I didn't care, so I just tried to use it just on the inner part of my lips and not go to the edge. It was, it went bad, but I didn't care. I just wanted to keep using it because I loved it that much. So anyway, this one is done. So that is everything in my project. Use it up. This is in collab with the beautiful Triggy3, AKA Courtney. So I will drop her page up above so you guys can view see what she has done we have just a few weeks left and then we will do our finale our goal was to reach two thousand dollars i can guarantee that i am up and over 200 but i will pop in the price right in here what how much i used up this month and where i'm at in my totals hopefully crossing fingers i can get to that 2500 mark i don't know where i'm at right now so that might be a, a big task but I am going to try. I just now realized I'm not wearing my wedding ring. <gasps> I took it off last night because my hands were so swollen and so icky that I just totally forgot to put it on. But, you know, even not wearing it, you can totally tell that I've been married for a long time because I have constant marks on my fingers. I don't think that'll ever go away. It, it should never go away. Anyway, married 18 and a half years. 18 and a half years! Wow! And I love him so much. It just kills me. So anyway, I am done. Thank you guys for joining me. Make sure you go check out Courtney, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!